everybody. I haven't really done a video like this, and that's just because, well, I have things I want to do with it, but this one is taking priority because I cannot get it out of my head. So I went to Dollar General today to pass some time because there was a train on the tracks, and it's after Valentine's Day, so the decor was 50% off, and I got this gorgeous little tray for only $3. I am really, really seeing inspiration in this already. When I first saw it, I immediately got the British Baking Show or the Great British Bake Off, just all those like baking competitions in my head. And also like it's giving Rosanna Pansino in like a weird way. But I want to just jazz this up a little bit. Uh, I think this is plaster or something in the actual base. But what I want to do is turn this pink metal into just the brightest of silvers using my silver enamel paint and turn this into kind of the love child of a British tea party like sandwich serving tray and the tray in the 70s our grandparents and parents probably ate TV dinners off of. I am gonna sound crazy when I say this but I think this could be a really fabulous little piece of our display and also just to like have over on my desk because I am obsessed with the idea of just flipping decor like this that is only meant for one holiday and turn it into something that can be used year round. I just want a cute little thing that happens to be heart shaped like the idea of just like oh it's pink it's valentine's so that's the plan let's get started. Okay so the spray painting is done I didn't film it because uh, the day I did it it was very temperamental temperature wise and also it was very windy so it was either film it and get spray paint everywhere, probably on my phone, on my tripod, on me, everywhere, and it's already on my glasses, or just not film it and show you guys the after. So the next step is using my Liquid Leaf Silver for this. I'm going to have to be very careful because what's the best way to say, this paint is probably not good for me. Um, I don't really know what's in this. I barely know what it's made of. I don't know much about it because I found it in mom's closet a few years ago. I have a mask right here that I do intend to wear. I have a silicone mat. Uh, I'm also going to be very careful with getting this on me. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, impromptu update. Thanks. It, I didn't get it on camera because I was really, I was thinking just like, okay, I'll do like a sponge coat. I grab a foam brush. I'll just do like a quick little like final once over for it and then call it done. And then the bottle got caught on one of these inside pieces. Like it was a little, uh, these are pieces that hold the plaster base. 
and it spilled. Now, luckily, it was on my silicone mat when it spilled. Luckily, it did not get everywhere, but I did lose like 80 to 90 percent of my paint in that bottle. So, this is far as I'm getting with this. Uh, it looks fine. It looks good. Honestly, it's not that bad. Uh, I wish this didn't happen. Um, I'm also having to be very careful in terms of to see fumes in the house because I wouldn't be that concerned with uh, ventilation and everything so I was just getting out of the bottle. If it got too strong, I'd put the lid on it. But uh, when most of it spilled, um, I'm having to run box fan and I'm having to get all of this out of the house as quickly as possible. So be careful with your art supplies, guys.
the tray is done. I'm really excited about it. This is the final color palette and what it actually looks like all said and done. Um, the only last thing I gotta do is I'm going to mask off where the silver metal is and actually spray down some matte spray paint on the tray itself. The only reason I have not done it yet is because it's been cold, it's been rainy, and just it's been poor conditions. So I literally, I can't spray paint when conditions aren't like good for it. So I haven't done that yet, but it's essentially done. I'm really, really proud of this. I like that I turned something that was just so simple of just a Valentine's tray. They were marketing just because it has a heart, just because it's pink. And I've made this more me. And this is something that I can use year round now. Uh, if I found a way to make it food safe, I would gladly love to make it food safe. I could see my little shortbread cookies looking so cute in this. Overall, I really like it and I'm excited to do this kind of thing again. Uh, I'm filming this on like literally the last day of February, late at night. First day slash first day of March. So uh, there will be cheap Easter decor soon, hopefully. And I might be able to get some fun stuff. I know Easter always has cuter stuff. But consider subscribing to this channel to see more things such as this. Like this video. Artists know what YouTube knows that this content is good enough to be shown around the world and across to other people like me and you. But that is it for me, monsters. Happy March. Happy leap year, I guess. And I will see you next time. Bye!